Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Julia. I'm Jacob. I'm Nathan. And I'm Karina. Oh my gosh, it's a me hosted episode. What does this mean? You know what this means? We're doing watches. No. Ooh. We're not. Hey. We're not doing watches. Julia has mailed us each a watch making <laughs> kit and yep. put together. Uh, Please do it, and you can listen. <laughs> <laughs> click, 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 crank, crank. We sit silently and and then just screaming at at the desk for several hours. Yeah, that's our new challenge. We assemble a watch while Julia can't see but tries to direct us. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. And you just get that floating image of Jacob's face looking distraught while <laughs> the audio plays. <laughs> What are we really doing, Julia? What? Okay, we're doing my other favorite thing, which is Gundam. Yeah. On this episode, I'm going to give everyone a Gundam pilot name, and they're going to have to draw it just based off that name. Draw the robot or draw the pilot? Draw the pilot. I am not making y'all draw intricate moving parts that are a robots or <laughs> okay. mechs. Thank you. My Gundam's made out of flesh and has skin. <laughs> <laughs> Inside our organs <laughs> and bones. <laughs> Incredible. All right, we're ready to get into it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as they say in G Gundam, Gundam fight, all set, ready, go. Nathan, you're up first. As they say in Gundam Wing, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, that's what I say. <laughs> 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 That's Karina's line. Gundam Wing would be a very different show if Hiro Yui was replaced by Karina. <laughs> <laughs> or if he just said, I'm just kidding, after. <laughs> <laughs> JK, lol. It's just a bit. All right, Nathan. Yeah. Are you ready for your pilot name? Yeah. Your pilot's name is Biscuit Griffin. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Oh, that's such a cute name. It's that's really a great cute. name. It sounds like a teddy bear. <laughs> yeah. Biscuit Griffin is I'm imagining sort of like a wide friend. Uh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean his his <laughs> alias is also Roundy. Oh, sweet. Okay. That's his that's his other nickname that one of the characters calls him. You couldn't have prescribed that more accurately, Nathan. All yeah. right. <laughs> I do have to say that Biscuit Griffin comes from a line of uh, food-related names. Okay. Uh, his sister's name is Cookie. The grandmother's name is Sakura Pretzel. <laughs> Aww. Uh, that's wonderful. But Biscuit Griffin comes from, I think it might be Biscuit Griffon, but I'm, I just like to say Biscuit Griffin. Okay. I'm not sure which one's correct, but Biscuit <laughs> Griffin is from uh, Iron-Blooded Orphans. I watched an episode of that. Yeah. Did you see Biscuit Griffin? I don't remember anything about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, Iron Blooded Orphans is basically uh, if you combined the Gundam series with Lord of the Flies. It's a bunch of kids that break off from their horrible jobs of being kind of like the you know war sacrifices, just like the the kids who go out and basically they like install mines and stuff. Mm. And all that jazz. And they're like, we're sick of all of our friends dying. We're going to break off and make our own our own security group. That's and cool. it's a bunch of kids who go off and make their own uh, security team. Just like security Lord of the Flies. Team. Just like yeah. Lord of the Flies. <laughs> Do they have a conch shell? Uh, no. Not to my knowledge, oh. no. Do, do they eat each other? No. Are they flies. What is like the aesthetic? I don't even like I did zero research before this episode and I Good. they wear space suits? They wear like space looking stuff? Well, or is I it... should say <laughs> why are I you should... listening to me? <laughs> <laughs> I should give you the caveat that Biscuit is technically not a Gundam pilot. He's what a the he's a heck? he's a mecha worker. What? Okay, so I'm gonna give him goggles. Okay, that's what that means. Is goggles yeah. <laughs> goggles means worker? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so he's more of like um like a driver or a transporter. He basically operates like the more working machines rather than the big 
the big mechs that you would think of as Gundams. Okay. Are you telling me that all construction workers are Gundam pilots? Yes. Because we should be telling that to construction workers. They would be psyched. <laughs> well, if you've seen Aliens, you know that Ripley is a, a loader driver. That's true. And then she uses it to fight the Xenomorph in the end. Spoilers. That's true. That's where that famous line comes from. I'm a construction worker. Don't mess with me. <laughs> I thought you were talking about a different line. Oh, is it the one where she says, I'm a construction worker, so that means I'm also a Gundam pilot? Yeah. 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 No, yeah, that, 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 that one's more on the nose, I think. Yeah, that one happens later. <laughs> I thought it was, I'm a construction worker, so stay away from her, you bitch. Oh, yeah. You know, you might be yeah. right. That might be- uh, Because I'm line. a Gundam pilot. Because I'm yeah. a Gundam pilot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a legendary line. Biscuit, let me give <laughs> you some attributes. Please. Flaky, golden- Delicious. Buttery. Cookie. Just a real staple of certain cuisines. Uh, no, Biscuit is very smart, and he's the intellectual. Uh, he's kind of like thought of as the brains. Me, an intellectual. Me, an intellectual. <laughs> Biscuit. <laughs> Biscuit. Uh, basically, he just likes to, to read, read and write. Because he actually attended skill uh skills. He actually <laughs> attended school, unlike the other kids. So he's a freaking nerdo. Yeah. He's, he's a freaking a nerd. nerdo. He's oh a nerd named God. Biscuit. I thought this was gonna be the Gundam pilot episode, not the big dumb nerd episode. <laughs> he's not a dumb nerd, he's a smart nerd. There's a yeah. difference. If he was smart, he'd be a cool Gundam pilot and not a Dorcas. Well, seeing how Gundam usually goes. Maybe he is the smart one by not being a Gundam pilot. Things don't usually go great. But it's not as cool if you don't do it. It's not as cool if you don't do it. <laughs> that famous line from Alien. <laughs> it's like the world's most vague motivational poster. <laughs> <laughs> Nike's first draft. <laughs> it's not as cool if you don't do it. <laughs> if I do it, I'll be cool. <laughs> Nike. <laughs> Nike. <laughs> why not do it? <laughs> Nike, why not? <laughs> why not? What, what do else it? are you going to do? <laughs> Nathan, this outfit looks like he's wearing little PJs, like a little like footy pajamas. <laughs> it looks like yeah. Pajama Sam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's a round pajama Sam. What do you want from me? I don't watch Gundam. <laughs> <laughs> this is what pajama Sam looks like now. He's a worker. He's got Feel his old yet? <laughs> tool belt. <laughs> Me with my tool belt sticks wrench into belt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me an intellectual. <laughs> He's so smart. He's such a smart intellectual. He's got all of his I duct tape the tools to my stomach. <laughs> 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 you save money on a tool belt that way. <laughs> Taking this outfit off is a mess. You don't do it. You, you don't, don't take do it, it off. <laughs> you yeah. live in that outfit. You don't do it. <laughs> Nike, you don't do it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. You're doing it. <laughs> You're doing it. I like the character design. The outfit is questionable. <laughs> well, I don't I haven't thought about clothes for myself. So <laughs> why would I think about clothes for other people? Damn, dude. Damn. Maybe you should start thinking about clothes. Really uncomfortable. Right on the nipple. Right on the nipple. <laughs> 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 Cannot bend over. It's gonna have a book. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a break from my mechanic job to read. <laughs> and what's he reading? Lord of the Flies, baby. It all comes back around. <laughs> Everything comes together. He's like, hey, actually, this situation we're in kind of is similar to this book I'm reading. And everyone's like, <laughs> shut up, nerdo. And he's like, okay. Ow, ow, as he walks away because he keeps <laughs> hitting himself in the nipple with his wrench. <laughs> Yeah, both of them. <laughs> Every step. <laughs> yeah. The wrench just like twists the nipple. <laughs> and the screwdriver stabs his other nipple. <laughs> it's like, is this how you be a worker? <laughs> he doesn't know he's a kid. Well, I have to say.
say the face is like pretty, pretty dang close. The face is perfect. I don't know anything about Gundam, but. But it's perfect. Yeah, that's a good boy right there. He's a he's a pretty good boy. He's just, you know, he <laughs> duct taped the tools to his <laughs> Dragon Ball Z pajamas and. <laughs> I'm going to read. <laughs> <laughs> the book is really small. <laughs> the face yeah. I make when I manage to read. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got ow my nipple. <laughs> Just in case people don't know what his name is, he's got. Oh, it's a little biscuit. He's got a little biscuit and a little griffin. Oh, you set yourself up now. How fast can you draw a little griffin? That's a cute little griffin. That's a yeah. Griffin. Oh, it also looks like a Pegasus. Put a little a little butter on this biscuit. <laughs> I said his name was Biscuit, not Butter Biscuit. You don't put butter on top of the biscuit. You put it in the biscuit. You can put it wherever you want. There's no laws about where you butter your biscuit. I dip my biscuit into melted butter. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I, eat, I take a bite of the biscuit and then a bite of the stick of butter. <laughs> <laughs> and then they mix together in my mouth. I have to be done. <laughs> I have to be done. Nathan, it turned out good. I like it. I yeah. love him. <laughs> He's so precious. Like it. This is Biscuit Griffin. He's precious. All right. I'm going to send you all a picture. Biscuit Griffy. Show me the boy. Aw. Nathan, you're close. Yeah. Oh, he's a sweet guy. He's just a sweet boy. <laughs> he does have that face. Yeah, he's good. That's just a good, okay, I didn't give him a jacket. That's what he's wearing under his jacket. Yeah. He puts the jacket on so people can't see that he's stabbing himself in the nipple with a <laughs> <laughs> screwdriver. <laughs> he can't figure out how to stop stabbing himself, so he just covers it up. Yeah, the tape is really sticky, so it's stuck. <laughs> so he has no choice. Yeah. The book is his research as to how to stop stabbing yourself in the nipple yeah. with your tools. <laughs> he just was embarrassed, so he put the book cover of Lord of the Flies on top of it. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. <laughs> Karina. Me turn. It's your turn, and Karina, I'm so excited to give you this character. Yeah? When I knew we were doing this episode, I envisioned giving you one and only character, and I had to check with you to make sure you hadn't seen this series. I know nothing about Gundam. Good. From G Gundam, Chippity Crockett. <laughs> <laughs> I had to give you Chippity Crockett because aesthetically, and this might be given too much away, but aesthetically, it's like if you combined Gundam and Yu-Gi-Oh, mm -hmm. you get Chibity Crockett. Or Chibity Crockett Chibity is my Crockett. favorite brand of biscuit griffins. <laughs> <laughs> I can also describe Chibity Crockett as uh, if you combined like the Yu-Gi-Oh aesthetic with a cowboy. Okay. So G Gundam is, uh, to give a very brief synopsis, it's like there's a, a tournament that happens and there's one Gundam, typically only one Gundam or two Gundams, that represent that country. Uh-huh. So Chibity Crockett is, of course, the representative of Neo-America. Uh-huh. Because he's Neo-America's most famous boxer. Here's just two wonderful lines from the wiki. Chibity is often very outspoken about how he feels and is very patriotic towards his nation. If. He has overcome past demons of losing his mother on Earth to clown terrorists. <laughs> oh, those dang clown terrorists. <laughs> they uh, watched the Joker no. movie and became yeah. terrorists. <laughs> no. Dang. Ah, oh, beans. Ah, uh, oh, beans. This is, this is a lot. Yeah. So... I mean, you can ignore the clown terrorist thing. It doesn't have anything to do with his aesthetic. <laughs> but now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> You're describing Batman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's Batman, but Gundam, but mm -hmm. Yu-Gi-Oh, but Cowboy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's a, he's a boxer Yu-Gi-Oh cowboy. I got to find where those things all meet. Yeah. 
Also, his Gundam looks like the Monday Night Football robot. It does, with <laughs> boxing gloves. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> you don't know about the Monday Night Football robot? When have I ever known about anything? <laughs> is the question. I thought everyone knew about the Monday Night Football robot. <laughs> Please explain. <laughs> Help. It's uh, marketing. Yeah. It's marketing. You see the robot and you're like, wait, is football cool and interesting? And then you watch it, the football. It's like, no, they're just playing football. So it's yeah. it's from the network TV fandom. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's, just a, it's a CG robot <laughs> football player. Yeah. He does like dance. Look, I'm not going to be the only one who doesn't know about this. <laughs> no, it's true. That's definitely true. <laughs> Absolutely. You'll need to explain it anyway. So <laughs> thank you. <laughs> But if you had known about it, then I could have just left it mysterious for people to Google. Is this a regional thing? Why don't I know about this? Well, it, it really hinges on if you've ever had a reason to watch Monday Night Football. I guess not. I would only ever watch football on Christmas. That's not Monday Night. <laughs> no, it never is. <laughs> I don't remember why I know about it. Probably just saw it once. It's like once you see the robot, you're like, wow, they spent a lot of time animating this <laughs> robot that has nothing to do with anything. Yeah. It's just a it's just a robot. It's just there. Yeah. It really sticks in the mind. They saw they saw <laughs> Toonami one time and were like, we need that but for football. Yeah. Yeah, that is you know pretty what, much what it is. You know what Monday night football needs? <laughs> it is like they took the Toonami guy and just like made him <laughs> for adults. Yeah, that's this is we made the joke so many times, but remember Tom from Toonami? Yeah. <laughs> this is him now. <laughs> he loves Monday night football. <laughs> so I completely forgot something about Chibity. Uh-huh. So this this doesn't this doesn't reflect in his design whatsoever because you know how like other countries, especially in the 90s and 80s, all other countries had one vision of America and it was cowboy. Mhm. Mm no matter where you were from, you were a cowboy. Chippity is, in fact, from New York City. Yeah, he's one of them New York cowboys. Yeah. <laughs> he's me. <laughs> he's a Times Square cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We got cowboys here. <laughs> yeah, we got cowboys here. They're naked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's how we like them. Pictures with this. Oh, okay, so I don't need to give him anything. <laughs> he's fine. Could make me draw a fucking cowboy hat, really. Okay, if this you shit if, again. <laughs> if you want me to save you, I will say he does not have a hat. Okay, then what indicates that he's a cowboy? His devil may care attitude. Yeah, maybe he just has a bolo tie. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what does a bolo tie look he's, like? You're just doing a magic mic. <laughs> This is what a New York cowboy looks like. Hell yeah. I'm not wrong. You're not no. wrong. I think you're incredibly right. We've all seen him. Does his hair look like a cowboy hat? No. no that's where the Yu-Gi-Oh comes yeah, in. Yeah, that's okay, where the so he has is. I have to turn on my Yu-Gi-Oh brain to do the hair. Yeah, that's okay. where Yu-Gi-Oh lives is in the hair. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is located in the hair. <laughs> Eyes are the window to the soul. Hair <laughs> is the window to whether you're Yu-Gi-Oh or not. <laughs> you also know that he's American because he is often accompanied by, and I kid you not, the Chibity Girls. <laughs> okay. Which are four ladies in bathing suits. You don't have to draw them. I'm just letting you know they exist. Yeah, know that they're there. I'll, I'll draw them in the background. <laughs> the bathing suit ladies are implied. <laughs> you can feel their energy. Yeah. Gotta make sure. Well, I mean, if he's in an anime, he wouldn't have nipples, so. Depends on the anime, I guess. A lot of them don't, I think. Yeah, a lot of them don't, but some do. Mario has nipples. Sometimes. 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 All the time? Maybe all the time. <laughs> Is that one picture where he has nipples the only picture of Mario shirtless in the canon? I think so. Yeah, they're really protective of Mario's nipples in the canon. They don't want you to see them. <laughs> Until I feel like they, Tristan has probably done them. dive on this. Yeah, yeah, can we ask Tristan? 
Yeah. Tristan, what's the status of Mario's nips? Yeah. Were they always there? Were they gone at one point? <laughs> what about Luigi's nipples? These are the important- If Mario has nipples, does that mean Wario has nipples? Yeah. <laughs> Please explain. Oh, Wario definitely has- <laughs> Wario I've drawn Wario's sure nipples. nipples. Yeah. He has so many nipples. While Luigi doesn't, though. Yeah. <laughs> we While don't know why. Completely smooth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is how Times Square feels to me. If Times Square were yeah. a person to me, this yeah. is this is the energy. He just needs a Bubba Gump shrimp tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe he has a bunch of corporate tattoos. <laughs> What's a Bubba Gump shrimp look like? I don't I don't like that I kind of have an idea of what it looks like. It's just a friendly looking shrimpo. Yeah. <laughs> He's like that. It that. looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's uh Nike swoosh. Yeah. <laughs> you know he's got an Olive Garden one. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've been to the Olive Garden in Times Square. Not a not a great moment for me. <laughs> the <Dave and> Busters. <laughs> I don't know what any of these logos look like. It doesn't matter. This is fiction. fiction. This is fiction. This is these are the logos in Neo America. Yeah. 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 yeah they got updated. Yeah. There was this one video game playthrough I watched where it was like bus driving simulator and in Times Square they had all of the buildings but they had like copyright <laughs> like safe logos so instead of Dave and Busters <laughs> it was like Dad and Dads <laughs> Dad and Dads I love that I would so go to Dad and Dads Yeah Come that's that's Neo America The old Double Dads Let's go to Dad and Dads when we You get a dads. hot dog upon entering <laughs> Dad and Dads and a firm handshake <laughs> Hey there Tito you're looking a little hungry here I just whipped up this hot dog for you There's grills everywhere Yeah Hi hungry I'm Dad <laughs> and I'm Dad. Welcome to Dad and Dad's. I'll put the cowboy hats on his nipples so that we oh, know they're good. there. But um But he's being modest. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome, anime. <laughs> it's really a shame that this <laughs> wonderful man covers up his beautiful body with a giant robot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> okay, do I actually want to draw the chippity girls? Not really. <laughs> so don't draw the chippy yeah, girl. Yeah, do it later. Yeah. Not at all. They're implied. They're implied. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're just off screen cheering. I just, I just, I've had enough. I drew his hair and it's really ugly and that's it for me. <laughs> I, I got to call perfect. it a day. <laughs> it's perfect it. for what it, I was going for, but <laughs> objectively, <laughs> Not great. <laughs> I mean, Chibity's actual hair is worse somehow. So. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready to see Chibity? Yeah, I want to see him. There you go. Oh, he's kind of cute. I like this. <laughs> he's got fringe on his shirt. I love this. He has Steven Universe shirt. Yeah. Kind of looks like Space Dandy. Man. He does look like Space Dandy. I think I had it more in my head of like, not not to say the H word, but America from Hitalia. But I like oh. this design so much more. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. This is, I mean, they're kind of like this is that. cute. Like that light. Yeah. But not what I was I was thinking. I'll 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 make it look cuter when I color it. Okay, good. Doesn't it look cuter already, audience? <laughs> <laughs> I like <Cute>. Chippity. <laughs> so much cuter now. Wow. <laughs> really good job, Karina. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Jacob, I'm so excited to give you this pilot because I was torn between giving you something very cool or very dumb, and I think <laughs> I've landed on both. <laughs> From Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zero, Alleluia Haptism. <laughs> what? what did you just say to me? Alleluia Haptism. 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 <laughs> Not baptism, haptism. haptism. Is a haptism a baptism that you stop halfway through? It, yeah, <laughs> half a baptism, haptism. A, ha a haftism. Haftism. Oh. So some background info. First of all, he's 
uh, one of the protagonists from Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zero, and Mobile Suit du- Gundam Double Zero is a lot of people's like first Gundam, which is interesting to me. I always thought it was pronounced Mobile Suit Gundam. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Mobile Suit Gundam. Ooh, Alleluia <laughs> was an escaped failed experiment super soldier. Oh, who made his way into celestial being? What? what? That's why his name is Alleluia Haptism. Do you want to restart your drive? He's a celestial being? I mean, this could be a celestial being. So he's kind of like if Steve Rogers became God. He's human, but super soldier. He's kind of like Steve Rogers (laughs) became God. (laughs) Super soldier. Super soldier. Super soldier God man. Yeah, is there any like, I'm just going to start drawing like a strong. It's like you're a super soldier, but you still have to be inside a big robot. Yeah, that face when you're divine, but you still got to fight using a big robot. Ugh. Ugh. He pilots Kyrios and Arios. Of course. Two of them. Both at once? Uh, No, not two at once. I will say also the big thing with him, and um, I guess I should have said spoiler alert when this uh, episode began, but spoiler alert if you don't <laughs> want to know anything about this anime, is that he has two personalities. Oh, Do you oh. want to know the name of his other personality? It has a different name? Yes, of course it does. What is it? Hallelujah. Oh. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding That's you. That's not a different name. No, because this one is Alleluia. Yeah, I, I understand and that. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. I'm saying that's not a different name. <laughs> There's a letter difference. No, that's not enough. <laughs> Excuse you, Hallelujah killed Alleluia's friends. Oh, that was, that's mean of him. But they're the same. They're the same. Well, that so- explains how they were able to get close to Alleluia's friends. Yeah. yeah. Be really easy. So I watched a bit of the show, and it it kind of seems like the kind of um, very tropey kind of anime media way of dealing with split personalities at once, which mm. uh, is not accurate at all to yeah. mm-hmm. you know how this actually works. But Hallelujah right. and Hallelujah are split personalities, quote unquote, for uh, in- inhabiting the same body. But like when Alleluia comes out, Hallelujah can speak to Alleluia and reverse. So like this sucks. It's Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> rules. <laughs> it's Yu-Gi-Oh rules. It makes no sense. <laughs> Hallelujah. I will say Alleluia. Sorry, Alleluia is like a pretty boy with a mullet. If you want some sort oh, of clue, I already made him so strong. I mean, yeah. he's, just give he's him a got mullet. A lot of muscles. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to have to continue sort of down You can this. be strong and pretty. They're not mutually exclusive. He's a super yeah. soldier. Hallelujah will often just like kill people while Hallelujah is asking him not to. And then his other personality Rude. does it very, uh, very masochist- masochistically. But also like a celestial deity? No, well, he's still human, but he... He joins a paramilitary organization <laughs> called Celestial Being. Oh. So he's not a celestial being. That was being. misleading. Wow. Yeah, you wow. really tricked me on that one. <laughs> which which one joins the paramilitary organization? <laughs> Alleluia I guess or if Hallelujah. one signs up, they both sign up, huh? Yeah, I don't think. <laughs> According to Gundam. We got to get a second set of paperwork for you. <laughs> yeah. This is just Bakura from Yu-Gi-Oh. It's not. It's different. It's, it's different. See, he's got a he's got a little pretty a little pretty face. <laughs> oh uh-huh. yeah. He's got a little pretty face on the big scary uh, body. He's so cute. Because he's a super soldier. Yeah. Right. Super soldier with a mullet and a inaccurately portrayed <laughs> split personality. <laughs> As, as media loves to do. Yeah. It's really like Law and Order SVU rules. <laughs> this is just strong Bakura. <laughs> <laughs> it's not strong Bakura. This is different. This is Alleluia Hamsteak or whatever his name is. Yeah. <laughs> Haptism. 
Hamstism. Hamstism. Hallelujah. Hamstism. I was baptized in the grease of ham. Ew. <laughs> Don't. Don't. It's too late. It already <laughs> happened. No. It already ham hamptoned. <laughs> no. So we're in like suspenders for some reason. <laughs> he's so strong. <laughs> he's got to hold up his pants somehow. Yeah. yeah. Don't uh don't put any tools tucked into those. Yeah. They'll they'll <laughs> chafe. They'll get right on the the nips. They'll get right on the nips. We got three nipple like every character in this video has had a nipple fixation. We did it. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Turned a Gundam up into nips. Um, I was watching a video about uh this character specifically before we recorded this, and all the comments were like, "The edge lord that my fourteen year old self identified <laughs> with." I was like, "Oh no!" I was can't this wait. the problematic anime boy of this Gundam series? Uh, yeah, probably. Wow. Um, I think I'm done. I don't. You're done. Strong. What, what else could I possibly it, add? No, on I mean this? I love it. So yeah, I think it's good. Uh, all right, I'm gonna send everyone a picture. This is gonna be accurate. I can tell. Yeah. Oh wow. Ooh. Oh my god. You didn't so, tell me he was one of those face palming ones. So let me clarify the one He's in the so front. Pretty. Them fingers are so hallelujah. long. Hallelujah. The one in the front is hallelujah. The one in the back is hallelujah. Menacing. And the one in the back is a, a little upset. <laughs> it's brooding a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> oh my God. He's such a traditional anime. He's yeah. a pretty boy. This is yeah. such a problematic anime boy. Yeah. I can just feel it. <laughs> Svelte. <laughs> tight. Turtleneck. Short yep. sleeve shirt with. Yep. Armbands. Moody he's eyes. Wearing, he's dressed like um, Hawkeye from Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> it's generic soldier outfit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would argue that mine is more interesting as a design. Yeah, yours looks like kind of like maybe a, a cool firefighter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about that? Hell yeah. I would watch that. <laughs> <laughs> And maybe he's just got one personality. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's this one. Or if he has multiple personalities, it's handled in a way that's respectful. It's to incredibly with... tasteful. Yes. <laughs> Actually have that. Um, well. This is Gundam. This is I Gundam. Think. This is Gundam. Let's all get in our <laughs> robots <laughs> and go fight the angels. That's a different show. Yep. That's yes. different. This one is people fighting the government. Yeah. Mm. So that's it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let us know what you'd like for us to draw in the comments below. Uh, and if you liked this, you should hit like and subscribe and uh, subscribe to our Patreon and check us out on Twitch where we stream every Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Ooh. Yeah. And also we have a store. And we have a store with DFTBA. Go check it out. Ooh. We're adding stuff sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's factual. That's factual. Correct. Did we add something today? You don't know unless you check. Yeah. Unless you check. Mm -hmm. Go check. But that's it. Just communication over. We're sorry. We're sorry. Sorry. Sorry.